this is Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. I hope you are doing good. I am great Friday. Woohoo! And a sister is tired. I had such a busy week with my students. We did a field trip yesterday. And um, it's almost the end of the school year. So we have to rush and finish things up. Spend money in the budget, which means field trips, which means fun. But, um, yeah, I am tired but happy. The sun is setting. All right, today we're going to get it in and talk about advice for women before they get into a relationship or as they are dating. I'm biting off Twitter. A question was posed, what advice would you give to women who are dating and looking to get in a relationship? I just want to read some of these tweets. They gave some good advice. Random Twitter followers not of mine but of a gentleman all right let me read some of them date one person at a time to have a healthy relationship dating one person for a long or short span is the end game you know where you're headed with your relationship date one person at a time okay let me i kind of disagree i think as women some of us, whenever I say this stuff is never all, we, we so sweet, some of us, <laughs> look, I keep on saying some of us, and we fall in love, men fall in love quick too now, we, we think women fall in love quicker, men fall in love quick as well, sometimes we fall in lust, or we become fantasy oriented, we have like really great imaginations, we don't ask the right questions so we assume we assume, we assume a lot of shit and we're not asking the right questions you're, you're casually dating a guy and you're telling your friends basically you all are in a relationship but we don't go back and ask the guy what we are like my last long-term relationship he told me he was like we are exclusive right he was like i really don't like the casual thing where you casually date and i said no i'm not into that either so, yeah, we are exclusive. I was glad that was um, put on the table quickly and up front so it left no mystery. But I've been in situations, and most of the time when I say situations, this is going to be 20 years ago. So, things were thing, the climate was different. Got to remember, no social media. So, totally different climate. But I was dating a guy 20 years ago, and I thought we were in a relationship. We had been, you know, dating for three months or at least two to three months and wasn't much going on you all I'm just being transparent it's mostly sexual very few dates and so I brought that up I'm like I noticed we really don't date we're just going from house to house that's that's terrible to me I'm not I would never get into something like that now but you young you don't know you know younger and um he was like oh no I'll take you out well why did I have to tell him that so that was a red flag see these type of things you see this just bill don't even don't even get into a sexual thing with somebody if you're looking for something more serious so uh, after that of course he got dumped uh, rightfully so but I always ask you know if it's a if it's a red flag or a mystery going ask the guy what are we doing but I would say date more than one guy don't don't jump up and run and, and just pick the first guy and sail into the sunset now if it is a great connection you gonna know and of course you stick with the one guy because you done met a good connection there's no need to um date multiple but if it's casual here a one casual date there yeah date more than one and you pick who's best for you always be in control stop we got to stop settling men too shoot all right let's see here yeah <laughs> i'm telling you these tweets are on point don't invest emotionally and sexually too quickly. Why is this happening? And thank you, God, this is not me. It never has been me for the most part. I'm, I'm a, I'm a relaxed, laid back type of girl, and I like going slow. 
with relationships. So I don't invest emotionally and sexually too quickly. I have when I was unhealthy, but a healthy Tammy, she don't do that. <laughs> I don't like to date a guy one time and be talking about, ooh, that might be the one. I don't do that. That's not me. Some ladies do. Don't do this. Be lighthearted with it. And please, don't jump in the bed with every guy. It's going to mess you up, you know. Oh, that's what I like to do. I just like to get it in. Well, you're not looking for a relationship. You just want sex. Say that. Say what you want and be upfront. But don't say, I want a relationship, and then you just jump in the bed with four guys that you're dating casually. Not a good look. It's not safe. And what is it saying about you? <sighs> These tweets. Don't be desperate. Don't just settle for anybody just to have somebody again. I get it. <laughs> being single, being alone, it can get frustrating. Even the busiest lady like myself. Busy, work two jobs, deep into my bulls. Now I'm back on my exercise kick. Um, I have friends. I have a dinner. I'm going out tonight with my friend. I get to meet her boyfriend for the first time. And I know he's a great guy. I've heard so much about him. I'm excited. Bulls play it tonight. I got to work tomorrow. I got quite a few clients. I got to see my guy, Auntie, on Sunday. Uh, she's 94. I love her so much. So my whole weekend is booked. It's just slammed. Um, but every now and again, that little twinge hits, and I'm like, man, I, I, hey, transparency on dreams are reality. I don't want to be by myself forever. I love having a relationship. But however, don't be desperate. Don't just settle for anybody just to have somebody. I'd rather wait it out and rock it out and get the right guy than to just have any old guy coming up in my home. I don't play that. So take it easy. I know it gets hard, especially if you like, you know, I hate to do age stuff, but it's important. You're 35. You want to have a family and you don't have anyone and we get scared, but don't get scared. Don't be desperate. Hold on. It might be a little bit longer than you want, but you know what they say? God, he never forgets about us. He never. Oh, this is a good one. See these people on Twitter. Hello. Come through Twitter. Know your boundaries and go with your good feeling. If you have a boundary, no sex until I really get to know you and the guy is pressuring you, he's out. No, I shouldn't say it like that. Yeah. <laughs> For me, he probably would be. I wouldn't say out, but we're probably not a good match. I am i don't want to have sex with you. I don't know you. You have a problem with that. Then go find you somebody who, if you just want sex, go find them. I'm not your girl. Again, me. I'm a little different from some ladies. And some other ladies are like me. If I don't know you, I'm not attached. So I could cut it off quick. Why are people holding on to people they don't even know? No, Keep your boundaries up. And if your gut feels off about that person, I'm just going to say, just let it go. How about this one? Be yourself. Don't rush it. The right one will come along. Have you seen women who change for the man? They used to be one way, now they all the way different. It's like, huh? I know I've seen this in a relative, and it's a guy. He dressed one way, but then he get a younger woman, he changed the way he dressed. And it kind of looked okay, because he real, he real youthful looking. But don't, don't change your whole being for somebody. Yeah, you meet somebody, like my ex. You know, oh, I w this nail polish color will look beautiful on your toes. Yeah, I paint my toes that color. Well, hey, I like the suggestion. Bought me a beautiful dress. You know, those type of things. That's nice. But don't change your whole being, your aura for somebody. Now you're not being yourself. Now you're being who they want you to be. Oh, God. that This is just a given, guys. Be careful if you meet someone for the first time where there's a lot of people around. And if they ask for money, say no. Huh? Ladies. Ladies, we do not give out money. That is the biggest red flag in life. 
uh, I did that one time in a relationship. I had money at that time, and I was buying this guy gifts, again, 20 plus years ago. I mean, over the top, like doing the most. And end up, he was, I can't, the words can't describe. It was a toxic, sad situation. And once I got away from him, I wouldn't buy a guy a french fry. I'm serious. I was like, nope, nope, nope. Not until we in a serious, committed relationship and I trust him. But a real man, they not even going to let you do a whole lot. Now, of course, me and my ex exchanged gifts. We were together a long time. So uh, gifts were exchanged for birthdays, Valentine's Day, Christmas, and just because. So that was things we did. But we, okay, let's talk about the money part and the gifts. If you got to just shower with somebody with gifts all the time, they showering you, you showering. I don't like me. I'm not into that. Now, I know some people, they love them gifts and they think that means they love them. This is what I like. Uh, uh, sitting on the couch, giggling at our favorite show. Let's hit that tennis court and hit some tennis balls. Let's go for a walk. Let's go have some ice cream and laugh together. Let's go bowling. Let's play miniature golf. Let's do nothing. I'm going to cook. You just chill out. You had a long day, long drive. That's what I like. I don't worry about no gifts and money. That's neither here nor there. That, that's going to happen. Okay. Ooh, this is a good one. This was me. Also, start as friends first and take your time to get to know this person. If someone is trying to rush things, it usually doesn't end well. Again, take your time. Yes, you 35. You're 40, especially 40. You want to start a family. You probably don't have five, six years to date. You know, and some people, they'll be like, who, who would do that anyway? That's just stupid. You know, well, you all, stuff happens. Because I ended up in a long-term relationship. Thinking one thing, but it ended up being another. You know, thinking we was going to get married and it ended up, it didn't even work out like that. So don't spend all them years like me. But don't rush either. It's got to be that fine line. Again, you done met your soulmate. You all probably get married in a year or two. That's okay. You That's somebody, you know, When I don't know about soulmates or whatever. But you meet that great connection. Yeah, you know, you know when you met the, you know, with them reason, the one that's really you're going to be with forever. Hopefully, prayerfully. See how it forever goes for some people. But then that's different. Sometimes it only take a year or two. But sometimes it's a little bit more red tape. In some relationships, it may take a little bit longer, maybe two and a half years, maybe four, maybe three. Don't let society F you up in the head and say, you, he been with you two years, y'all ain't got married yet. Uh, this is what people do. Go with your gut. You, The best thing you can do is go with your gut. If you believe in God, pray and talk to him and get clarity from him and communicate with your guy. Don't listen to your girlfriends. Don't listen to your mama. Please don't let his mama jump in and ruin things. You communicate with that guy and you and him discuss the timeline. Too much listening to other people is going on. It really can damage and ruin your relationship. I like this. Talk a lot on the phone every day. Well, I don't have a long, long time to talk on the phone every day. But uh, she said just one hour a day, the magic stuff. I agree with her with talking on the phone every day. I love checking in with my guy. How was your day? Is everything okay? Especially when he was going back and forth out of state. You know, hey, I was concerned. Did you make it safely? Are you cool? You know, a lot be going on. And same with him. At one point, I remember years ago, I was driving Uber. He was calling me like white on rice. I think he was worried about me. You know, just making sure I was okay. I like that. I like talking on the phone with my guy and make sure he's having a good day and I'm having a, he's making sure I'm having a good day. Yeah. Yeah. You should be concerned about each other. Hmm. I'm trying to read some more of these. Oh, heck no. Red flag number 12. Haven't tried it. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Never mind. I thought she was saying somebody said they're divorced and they didn't sign the papers, but. Anyway, now that that came up, 
If you meet a guy and he is separated but not divorced, put on your fastest tennis shoes you ever could find, and I want you to do a 90,000 mile race away from him. Uh, now, some guys, that is true. They're in the middle of their divorce. It is pending. Like, it's going to go through within the next few months. But how the heck are you going to know? You're going to get caught up with some guy. And then some people be lying. They be lying. They'll say they're getting a divorce. And they never even started with the proceedings. Now you caught up in the middle of something. You really like this guy. It's going well. But he's not He's not single. Do you really want to get caught up in that? Oh, I'm not divorced yet. It's still hanging up. I'm not divorced yet. It's still hanging up. I remember I was dating right before my divorce went through. Now, my divorce was smooth as butter. No kids. We had a house. We sold it. And I was dating a guy. And he was like, are you divorced yet? Are you divorced yet? He kept asking. But... I'm, I take care of business. I'm not I'm not one of those types. So my divorce, it went from, I think, April to September. I was done. So you didn't even need to keep asking me because that thing went through fast. But that's me. You know, some guys, they don't take care of their business. And some ladies, they just stay married but go into the world single. Don't do what I did. Just wait, wait on the guy to be divorced. And if he not, then just move on. I would. Let him come back when he's single. And make him show you the divorce papers. And you know we can see that online anyway. Um, you know what you are? Yeah. If he truly loves me, he will be faithful. No lying, no cheating. Be devoted only to me. If this doesn't fall in my pattern, walk away. Hello. What somebody say? All oh, men cheat. I've been cheating on so much. That's not true. All men do not cheat. Do are, are all women faithful? When you make those blanket statements, it's just not fair to those good people that have standards. Are we all tempted or do we all see somebody else that may catch our eye? I think we all do. We all have eyes. It's always going to be a handsome guy, another beautiful lady. But that's where loyalty, commitment, self-love comes in. You don't go running around with every woman you see or every man you see. So a, a guy that truly loves you, he will be faithful. He won't be lying to you, and he will not be cheating. And if you get a whiff of that, again, red flag number 13, you run, you take off running. Uh, investigate his source of income. Well, I don't know how you're going to do that. This is what I've learned. The credit score people, I'm, I need to know how much he makes. <laughs> Calm down, everybody. You're gonna you're gonna figure some of this stuff out. If you're dating a guy for a year, year and a half, you're gonna see how his finances are. Aren't you going over to his home? Is he coming to yours? Is he taking you out? It kind of is gonna show, and you're gonna have conversations. I learned that about mine. I could tell he was very good with money. I knew his stuff was uh, in order. Um, we had discussions about finances. He gave me advice about finances. So I knew his stuff was in order. We traveled together to very expensive places. He paid for it. So, well, he was doing something right. So I didn't have to investigate his source of income. Well, I had a little bit of an inside, inside thing. We worked together. But he's an engineer. So I knew, you know, it's just like I could tell he was, you know, his stuff was tight. I'm not asking nobody no credit score because I don't want them to ask for mine. Now, we engage before we get engaged or whatever. Yeah, now it's time to have that finance talk. But I'm not asking no guy for no credit score up front. I, I yeah, it's just a no. I've been married before, everybody. You don't have to do all that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's see if I can find anything else. I don't know what they're talking about. Some of them are just, one, you know, a couple of words. Somebody says, stay alone. Let me tell you about that. And let me tell you about them. Stay away from bitter people who just had the worst relationships. You know, some women and men. And it, if I was you, I wouldn't even get involved. Oh, I dodged so many bullets. I just stayed by myself. 
you know what? That's bitterness. And it's a choice. So maybe some are happy that way. Don't sound like it to me. Don't get caught up in those conversations. A lot of us been hurt and we have so much trauma. We don't trust. It's not even only about the relationships we've had. It's about the family dynamics we've had. The parent that didn't show us love. The mom that abandoned us. The dad we never got to meet. And all of that, it can jade us. And then they'll start spewing out negativity to you. You listen to it. You be like, yeah, they right. I do want to stay alone. To thyself be true. If you really want love, you want to get married, you want to commit a relationship, stay on how you feel. Avoid negativity because people will have you thinking different and you will be alone. Next thing you know, you will see them with somebody. I am going to end here. I can talk about this. All day. This is my jam. Relationship stuff. But um, that was fun to read those tweets. And they made a lot of sense. They were good uh, tips. So drop me some comments if you have some about what advice would you give to women who are out there dating and starting relationships? What advice would you give them? Please hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Thank you all. Bye-bye.